Okay, we spoke about video. This video is particularly about the settings for the low power features. Um, as I mentioned before, it's particularly useful for Northern Europe, places where we've got little sunshine. So let me show you th walk through the settings. Press the cog at the top, press the battery, battery charge. If we're going to use it, you need to disable battery charge, grid charge, because all that's gonna happen is if you get to the point, it will start charging off the grid. So disable grid charge. Go onto the shutdown voltage. So you'll see the shutdown voltage, the low battery voltage, the reset voltage. Um, focus on the low battery volt, low battery percentage, if it's a voltage or percentage, depending on your settings, but we'll, we're resuming, we've got good communication off the lithium battery. So it's set as a percentage. So set this, this is the percentage which will allow the battery to discharge before it will go into low power mode. Now you could take it quite low. For the demonstration, I've set it at 26%. Here, you'll see this new feature here, which is called low power mode. Um, you could click the low power mode and press OK. That is now set. The next thing is you need to use your system mode. Your system mode here, and in fact, if I go on here, I can check the time. So my time at the moment for my demonstration, I'm in Hong Kong and this is 14.53 is my time of where I'm going to operate it. I'm going to system mode here and you see between 13 and 17, I need to set that figure below the figure of the low battery. Now before it would not drop. If the low battery was set 26, it would only go 26. Now it must go 1% below. It must take it slightly below for it to function. So I click here, below. I'm not gonna click any charging. I've got the time of use and I set it. I could actually set all my settings the same, 25% if I want. So at any time during the daytime, if the, back, if the system, if there's no sunshine, drops below it, it will go into low power mode. I press okay. I can, I can now show you here, I'm running a load and the AC load is 210 watts. You see the power is quite happily coming out of the battery. So I can increase the load here and you'll see the load will increase. You'll see it coming up here. And now you see my battery is at 26%. The system is running normal. Um, my grid power is almost zero, so it's taken everything off the battery, which it should be. Um, and eventually what will happen is as the power drops below, and you see the system is now dropping, dropping, it's dropped to 25%. Within a short period, after it drops to 25%, then the system will actually shut itself down. Um, the bypass will still operate, but the shutdown will basically mean the inverter will drop down, its quiescent current will drop to near minimal. And in fact, if we wait a little bit longer, you'll see it will go from normal to an off, and it's going into ultra low power mode. There's no point in it running at this point because now the battery is not, hasn't got enough charge to supply the load. The only time it can want to supply the load is if it is in a UPS mode, which I demonstrated. But at this point in time, it cannot supply anything. So we just wait a short while and it will actually shut itself down or it'll go into, into a very, very hibernate into a low power mode. Right, there you go. We had to click and it's now in low power mode. So the inverter is no longer drawing anything from the grid. If we turn the, if we turn the load off now, let's just do, switch the load off. So we take, take all our loading off it and let us look at our flow chart here and you'll see the battery is not discharging anything and the power from the grid is, ve is very, very low. Um, it's, almost, it's, it's almost zero, it's extremely low power. So it's in a hibernation mode. Um, the system is still bypassing, so it's still, by, it's still bypassing current. So in fact, the power will flow through it, but there's no power being lost. Everything that you're using is being used. Switch the solar on here. So the so sun is now shining. You can see the DC light coming on. And you'll see what happens shortly. Or it takes a short while. The uh, sun, is, sun is rising. The MPPTs will boot in very soon. It roughly takes about two minutes. We'll speed up the video for, for the sake of speeding up so you don't have to wait all this time. There you go. There's a click, we're on. So it's going back into normal. So things are operating normal. And you see now we're, we're pulling 777 watts off the MPPT. We've only got one MPPT connected. So there's nothing coming off the grid now. Uh, it's all actually coming from the solar. There's a, there's a minor amount coming off the grid. Most of it's coming off the solar, you can see it's very clear. And it's now charging the batteries. Whole thing is fully automatic. Um, just just a minor thing is just note the, the, the version. So it's E429 MCU 3383 
0811. We'll upload these. The slight difference between the three and the five kilowatt is for the eco. We'll upload these onto the portal, and so you can upload it yourself.